Peggy Clary from Clary Law Offices, one of our estate planning attorneys. And today's video topic is a recent issue that's really come to light in light of COVID that's affecting a lot of the families we work with. And it often starts with a very basic question from my client saying, can you, as the attorney, give me a DNR? And a DNR is a document that stands for do not resuscitate and it is actually not given by your attorney, but has to be issued by your primary care doctor, or if you're in the hospital, by a, a licensed medical provider. And what it says is that if I have passed away, I don't want to be revived through emergency services, and it's really common with um, maybe someone who's had a terminal illness, illness and they're under hospice care, and um, you will put this document at your home on your refrigerator and when EMS is called in, they are trained to look on the refrigerator and then if you have passed away, there's no extraordinary you know, um, life prolonging measures going on. Um, it's a way to say, I don't want that to occur. But that document is actually orange in color um, and it's uh, issued through your primary care doctor put out to the Florida Department of Health. And then there's also another document that's really come to light in light of the COVID pandemic that has struck our community and it's called the DNI, a do not intubate. And again, the same um, theory of that, that you're not wanting to have prolonged intubation and the hospitals rely upon that. Um, and it's really important that you have that conversation with your own medical divider or medical doctor to best understand what are the consequences of having the DNR and the DNI in effect for you. Now, how these documents correspond with the living will uh, is the living will is a document under Florida statute in which you, when you're competent and able, express the wishes of uh, end stage life, and you say, I don't want to have these life prolonging measures. With a living will, you name a surrogate who can speak on your behalf, and then generally there's a very um, reasoned, methodical buildup with your care plan team who's providing health care decisions so they can reassure the surrogate who's having to make this decision. Here are some of the uh, health crisis we're having, we think the chance of recovery is this, or it's going to be affected by this. And so it's more of a longer process uh, when working through the living will, where both the DNI and the do not resuscitate is immediate frontline information for first responders who are trying to make life or death critical care decisions for you. So I hope this little tidbit was helpful. Um, again, uh, happy to assist in developing your own estate plan and very happy to direct you to further discussions on the DNR versus the living will or a DNI and hope you have a life marked by civility, respect, and dignity. And we appreciate you uh, spending a few minutes with us to get better educated on making your own healthcare uh, and estate planning decisions in your life.